What's up everyone? This is Rakesh here once again. Welcome to the session of Oracle SQL. So guys, in our last session, what we have discussed, we have discussed the inner join. Now, what exactly we are going to discuss over here? Over here, we are going to discuss the left outer join. Yes, that is the topic which we are going to start over here. And left outer join comes under the outer join. So the first outer join which we are going to discuss over here which is nothing but your left outer join. Okay so let's begin without wasting our time. So guys what is left outer join? Left outer join is nothing but it is used to get the all the information from the left hand side of the table. So that is nothing but your left outer join. Okay now let's see the syntax of the left outer join and then we will see one example with the help of graphics okay so as you can see on the your screen this is the left outer join over here i have used the left outer join in between the both the table table one and table two and below that i have written one condition called as a uh, on condition okay now over here only the one difference you can see in the inner join and the left outer join which is nothing but your keyword in between the tables table one and table two in the inner join i have written the inner join over here i have written the left outer join so which tells that pause this is the left outer join query and use whatever the on condition i have written as a left outer join condition so that is nothing but your left outer line syntax so now let's understand left outer join with the help of one graphics so let's say for example if you have table one called as a table one and one table called as a table two and if i will apply the left outer join on both the table then what would be the output as you can see on the screen this will be the output which is nothing but your it will give the all the information from the my left hand side and it will give the only selected or only common information from the right hand side so that is nothing but your left outer join so what left outer join says that boss give me the all the information from the left hand side and whatever the matching information or matching rows from the right hand side that only give me in the output table so that is nothing but your left outer join so guys now let's see the output of the left outer join so for that i need to take two tables the first table is employee table second table is your department table now if i will apply the left outer join on both the table then as you can see on the your screen this will be the output okay now you can see that boss can you explain me how exactly this output get formed so let's understand that too so guys as soon as i execute the left outer join query then what will happen the pointer will start to the first row of the employee table as you can see on the your screen now this first row will be compared with the first row of the department table okay if the condition is satisfying whatever i have written in the on okay that condition is satisfying then left side of the row will be selected if it is not then it will be discarded so what will happen the first row of the employee table will be compared with the first row of the department table and then once the comparison is finished then first row of the employee table will compare with the second row of the uh, department table and again it will compare and whether it is matching or not matching it will decide and again the first row of the employee table will be compared with the third row of the department table and so on it will keep on comparing till the all the rows of the department table is finished okay now uh, what happened again the pointer of the employee table will be uh, shifted to the from first row to the second row of the employee table okay now second row of the employee table will be compared again with the all the rows of the department table and whatever it is matching it will uh, select and it will keep in the buffer okay now uh, as you can see on the your screen the third row is not matching over here however it is comparing but what will happen as you can see on the your screen this row got be added into the output table now this is what i want to trying to say over here the only difference is in between the cross join or sorry inner join and the left outer join it will compare and it will give the common information 
as well as the left hand side of the rows which is nothing but your employee rows employee rows you can see over here and right hand side you can see in the output table it filled with the null null okay so in short left outer join is nothing but is a just like the inner join except it will give the extra information from the left hand side which is nothing but your those rows also which is not matching as you can see on the your screen highlighted areas row is not matching with the my right hand side of the table however it is coming in the output table so that is nothing but your left outer join so guys let's see the practical part of the left outer join over here first we will see what all the tables which we are going to use in the left outer join example okay so over here you can see this is the my employee table and this is my first table okay over here you can see this is the content of the employee table now over here this is the column on which you need to concentrate okay one more thing you have to take care over here department number 30 is not available in the my second table which is nothing but your department table okay you can see over here no department 30 is available now this is the my second table which i am going to use over here and over here this is the column which is nothing but your department underscore id on which you need to focus okay one more thing you have to take care over here department number 40 is not available in my first table you can see over here okay so these are the things you have to take care before we go for the left outer join example okay now uh, if i want to join both the table department table and the employee table using the left outer join then how i can join i can join with the help of this query as you can see on the your screen this is how you can join both the table using the left outer join over here i have written the select clause this is the select clause over here this is employee id this is first name and over here i have written e dot department underscore id it means it is referring the department underscore id column from the employee table because e represents over here you can see over here e represents employee table you can see over here this is the short form of the employee table okay now department table uh, department underscore id column is also available over here department underscore id column is also available over here okay now since this column is uh, common in the both the table then i can join or i can compare based upon this column okay so this is how i am doing so that we'll discuss later on now let me discuss this part as well so d dot department underscore name i have written means this is the column from the department table this is also from the department this is also from the department okay now over here i have written the imp uh, from clause and in the my left hand side i have written the employee table and this is nothing but your short form of the employee table and this is nothing but your uh, i can say that keyword or syntax of the inner join okay this is how you will use the left outer join syntax okay this is my right hand side table and this is nothing but your department table and this is short form of the department table now over here you can see i have written on e dot department underscore id is equal to d dot department underscore id means i am comparing the department underscore id from both the table employee table and my department table means what i am trying to say over here boss give me the common information from the both the table and give me those rows which are uh, having department number common you can see over here this department and this department is common so give me these rows and since i am using the left outer join so what it says that give in uh, give the common information from the both the table and give all the rows or all the information from the employee table so this is nothing but your left outer join so in short what i can say that over here i have just compared the department underscore id from both the table and based upon that only i have put the condition however you can put some more condition over here for the simplicity i have taken only one condition okay going forward we will increase the complexity of the 
left outer join now let's execute this and let's understand what exactly this output and how exactly this came so guys as you can see over here uh, this information is common in both the table as just right now we have discussed department number 10 and department number 20 is common in both the table you can see department number 10 department number 20 department number 10 department number 20 is common so it gives the common information now other point what it says give me all the information from the employee table so this is the extra information which is not uh, matching in the uh, my over here you can see department number 30 is not matching in this uh, table however it give over here so my uh, left outer join uh, definition only says that give me all the information or all the rows from the employee table or left hand side table so left hand side table is over here employee table so it will give all the rows from the uh, employee table and you can see over here this is how it will give however it is not available in this table and in place of over here it will fill the null you can see this is filler okay now you can question over here why this row didn't come because uh, my left outer join and definition says that give me all the rows from the uh, my left hand side table and in our case left hand side table is employee table so that's why it is came my left outer join uh, definition does not tell that give me all the rows from the uh, my right hand side okay so that's the reason it is not come now how exactly it is comparing and how exactly it is coming so what it will do a pointer will come over here and it will check over here uh, whether the department number 30 is available in this row in this row or in this row or not however it will give so <coughs> not available so what it gives over here department number 30 over here this information and it will fill this uh, columns as null null okay now pointer again move to the next one over here again this will compare department number 10 is available in any of the rows or not so over here it found okay so what it will do it will give the combination of this and this so you can see over here it gives the combination of the both okay now over here again pointer will move over here it didn't match so it won't return anything okay it, or i can say it won't join this row uh, with this row okay again it will uh, compare with this this is also not equal to uh, this department so it won't consider now over here uh, cursor will move to the this and the department number 20 will be compared with the all the rows and over here it is matching so it will uh, form the uh, row with this this and this so you can see over here this got form and for 30 as i already explained it will give all the information and uh, it will fill over here null null so this is all about the uh, left outer join so in short what is left outer join left outer join will give all the rows from the my left hand side table which is nothing but your employee table over here okay and from the my department table which is nothing but your right hand side table will give only matching rows over here you can see 10 and 20 is matching so that's the reason it is giving over here 10 and 20 so this is nothing but your left outer join okay now now let's go for the assignment or i can say that practice questions I hope guys you have understood and if you understood then please don't forget to share my video. Thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye bye. Take care.